Hello, today I'm going to talk about our 12 bay appliance. This is uh, a 12 bay rack mount appliance. Uh, the uh, width of this appliance is a 19 inch standard rack appliance. Um, it's a 2U appliance, it's a 1.7 times 2, so it's a 2U appliance height. Uh, it has a 12 bay, uh, means that it can uh, put, uh, you can put 12 drives in there. Uh, they are arranged at 3, 3, 3, 3, um, and then they're hot swappable, they're SAS drives, easily removable. Uh, these are 12 gig SAS drives, 4 lanes, which is, gives you 48 gigabit per second. Very high performance, very high ent enterprise level products, um, and easily removable or um, you know, upgradable, whatever you want, very easy access to it. Um, then on the back side, if I uh, show you the back side, the back side, I'm actually going to remove the top part uh, so it's more visible uh, so to the camera. So this two right here are management port and this controls the management you can see inside. These are the management port and this management port is our for software, whatever software gets installed. Uh, usually we manage it with uh, these ports over the network. Uh, the next one to it is a rate controller and this is a hardware rate controller with uh, a high speed CPU, 64 bit high speed CPU uh, with the, the memory cache on it. So it's, um, it uh, helps you to maintain all the hard drives for performance, uh, high IOPS at the same time for any kind of maintenance you need to do. There's two ports on it. One port is for management, so you can remotely look at all the activities on this RAID controllers and you know whatever maintenance you might know, do or any kind of predictive failures you can want to manage and look at and see what's going on, the health of the system. This also you can program it to uh, send you messages as far as uh, you know any kind of uh, failures or predictive failures it has. So this uh, will allow you, you know, if connected to your network, you can configure that, um, you know, a messaging system to, uh, you know, notify you for any kind of failures. Uh, this is an expansion port on this system. It's a 12 gig expansion port. It has a 200, uh, you, can, you can manage 256 drives on this. So this unit has 12. So why are this uh, expansion port? You would be able to, um, you know, add more JBODs and get up to 256 drives on this. This is a, this is a battery backup system, uh, which is, uh, you know, in case of power interruptions, this will keep uh, your data uh, in the cache and uh, be able to flush the cache uh, and then you don't have corruptions in the system. Now this is a video system, so this is a video, so if you want to connect directly to the system, use video via keyboard and monitor, you can use that. Um, and these are the two network ports, uh, these are uh, uh, 1 gig and 10 gig network ports, and uh, you can also uh, expand these two, which comes as standard with this slot, which is you can plug in more ports, two more ports, four uh, eight ports and uh, you know and so on and so forth so you can expand more ports here and then um, you know uh, usually people add maybe another two more ports or four more ports if they want to aggregate the ports and team the work uh, the ports together and get higher bandwidth and bigger pipe um, and this is uh, next one to it is another port which is uh, this port is a, a hardware management port which is IPMI port and that manages your hardware that um, you, you through this port you can uh, monitor all the environmental activity as far as temperatures, fans and uh, CPUs speeds and so on and so forth. So everything that you need to look at at the same time it's like a keyboard monitor remotely that you uh, not at this uh, you know physically uh, you know connected to it you can remotely connect and be, um, you know, have the full access, uh, you know, like keyboard and monitor that you have, um, you know, usually when you have systems. Uh, and this is a serial port, so some of the monitoring uh, can be done uh, through the serial port if it's necessary. This unit, of course, it has uh, 
fan systems here. As you see, uh, the fans are through this uh, air ducts, cools the system down all the time. Uh, this also has an NVMe uh, base system. This is a uh, built-in NVMe to the controller and uh, that uh, hosts uh, all our operating systems on it uh, from um, storage stack to virtualization stack or backup um, uh, utilities uh, and software. Uh, and this uh, again runs on the flash uh, NVMe system which is uh, make this unit very high performance uh, all the way. And uh, there are three fans here uh, that uh, are hot swappable so it's easily you can push here and just pull it out and then for maintenance purposes clean it up or just change the fans if you need to. Uh, this is 12 gig SAS uh, backplane on the back end of it. Uh, these are two socket uh, CPU systems and these two socket CPU system provides you uh, with the two uh, eight uh, cores as a standard and you can upgrade uh, the, these uh, CPU to a 24 cores um, if you need to uh, for more performance or more virtualizations or more, more uh, workload that you have. Also it has a 16 uh, slots memory uh, that you can uh, actually put more memories uh, that, you know, uh, if you need to do that. We usually fill it up with four or eight uh, uh, memory sticks um, as you order it. And um, so we, again uh, there is uh, three ports. One is a hardware uh, monitoring and uh, remote is KVM basically IPMI and then the next one is uh, going to be your rate controller ports for monitoring and managing your rate and notification from the system and uh, the, the, then the last one is the system a monitoring which is for all the software you can remotely manage it um, you know the storage stacks and so on and so forth so there is one two three management ports on this unit for uh, which are isolated and uh, different people or different uh, authorization you can you know have different uh, people to manage different things and all the notifications and everything else comes through it, the status and uh, you know maintenance or setup or configuration you can do through these three ports so this uh, unit is fully manageable uh, remotely um, if you need to yes thank you very much uh, for your time